Welcome to another video tutorial on how to design and program electronic projects. In today's video, we will be designing and constructing an IoT-based health monitoring system using Arduino. This project design would be able to measure body ECG, body temperature, heart rate readings and pulse rate readings of the body. These readings would be displayed on the LCD screen as well as send these readings to a ThinkSpeak IoT dashboard where it can be further analyzed and remotely monitored. The system design also has an alert notifications for when these readings are at extreme levels. This will send an SMS notification to a health professional requesting their aid. Before we continue to the exact how this was designed, we would like you to take a moment to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly enable the notification button to get future videos from us. Now let us get back with the design implementation. We will begin with the schematic diagram. To get full understanding of the circuit diagram, kindly visit the blog post in the description below. This here is the schematic diagram of the IoT-based health monitoring system using Arduino. We using the Arduino development board as the microcontroller. The ECG sensor and the heart rate sensors are connected to it for reading the body vitals. Once we have fully understand this schematic diagram, the next thing would be to proceed to solder, couple and encase the project design together. The is the coupling phase of the IoT based health monitoring system using Arduino. The enclosure is made from a 3 by 6 inch polyethylene box that is wrapped carefully. The soldered components are placed inside of this at the right angles. Some openings were cut on the plastic box to ensure we can make some external connections to the ports and jacks that needed to be connected from the outside. Now, that it is wired, we had used cable ties to do some cable management. Inside of the enclosure for the hardware components of the IoT-based health monitoring system using Arduino, we connected the 20x4 LCD module using its 16-pin wire. The buzzer act to notify the user of extreme levels in the body vital readings and the 3.7 volts lithium-ion battery was used as a backup power to power the system when it is not plugged into an external power source. The battery too is rechargeable hence it can be reused over again. The SIM 800 LGSM module was placed at the side of the casing so that an opening for a SIM slot could be made where it will be more convenient to put in the SIM card from the outside. This GSM module will be responsible for sending SMS alerts to a personal for medical help in times extreme vital readings. Also, the GSM module was used to establish an internet connection to send the readings to the ThinkSpeak IoT dashboard. Once this was all done, we can proceed to covering the casing with the top cover. Now let us identify each of the connection ports and where the openings are made on the enclosure. We have the GSM module antenna opening here, you can use any type of the GSM antennas but you have to make an opening for it for signal reception. Also, there is the power button so an opening for that. Then we have the charging port when we connect the 5 volts charging cord. Also we used a 10k potentiometer to adjust the contrast of the LCD, this we made available for the user by creating an opening by the side of the casing. Also, the ECG sensor, have a port where it is connected above us. The SIM card is needed for both SMS delivery and getting internet to the system design. We needed a SIM card that supports 2G network since the SIM 800L works on this network.
the SIM card is slotted safely inside, we can power the design. The GSM module shoe will be able to blink every second, to receive reception, this will change to blinking every 3 seconds. When we start receiving this good reception signal, we can proceed to To program this project design, we use the Arduino IDE. The Arduino sketch is found on the blog post in the description below. You can download the source code free. Once you open your Arduino IDE, paste this code then, verify the code and upload it. We are using the Arduino Nano board. You can open your serial plotter to see the same graph of the ECG monitoring as shown here in this video. Now, let us test the project design. We powered it on after running the code, and watch it come to life. First, it displays the welcome message in the title of the project and after that displays the sensor readings on the LCD. The LCD is for the user to see what the body vitals are saying. After this, we can move to checking if the readings are transmitted to the ThingsPeak dashboard. On the ThingsPeak dashboard, we can see the readings population on each graph on the channel. If we observe closely on the serial monitor, we can see the networking sending such data to ThingsPeak. Also, the design came with two buttons that would simulate extreme level readings. Once any of these buttons were pressed, we can see on the serial monitor that an SMS will be sent.
This is our constructed buttons we use to simulate the extreme levels like high heart rate and high ECG levels then low heart rate and very low ECG levels. Once any of these buttons would trigger extreme levels and the doctor will get an SMS alert. That is it. We have successfully designed and constructed an IoT-based health monitoring system. All these detail explanation can be found on the blog post in the description below. Don't hesitate to visit the link. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Also, if you have any ideas on what project we should build next, kindly drop it on the comment section. That would it for us on this segment. Thank you for watch this video and see you on the next one.